be able to call yourself an American original brand and create shoes in the U.S. was something very important to us. My name is Chris Tobias. I oversee product creation and global merchandising for PF Flyers. New Balance's original manufacturing plant was in Boston, and that's where we make our PF Flyers as well. It was originally started as a technology platform to provide comfort and durability within sneakers. Eventually it became a sneaker itself, called PF, under the model of Center High. People love authentic American product, and that's what Gitman is 100%. We're a quality, authentic American shirt maker, and people around the world recognize us for that. I'm Christopher Oberding, a president of Gitman Brothers Gitman Vintage. There was a real kind of commonality, a common thread that we shared between Gitman Vintage and PF Flyers. And we talked about doing a, a possible collaboration and what that would, what that would mean and started talking about how great it would be to create a fully made in USA product. We've always been fans of what Gitman has been doing. Having that longevity, but continuously staying ahead of the game by doing new things, keeping things fresh, and working with a classic silhouette. We started talking about what a shoe would look like. Um, we talked about prints, we talked about um, redesigning the sneaker, but we realized that the shoe is such a classic, timeless piece that in its most simple form, it's its strongest. PF Flyers really stepped up and was able to make this shoe not only with the fabric that we were using, but also at a factory which they own. You can count them on one hand uh, how many people can do that. So um, that's something very special and it's something that will be very much appreciated by our customers and will resonate with them because they know that not everybody can do that. The idea of seed to sew is that the fabric is fully produced in the U.S. from the seed and sewn in the U.S. by us. So the sub-label we have on this particular shirt is called seed to sew. We had a white Oxford from California, we had a chambray, we had a denim. So one it was finding the resources where we could find a good quality fabric. From there, Chris and I at PF Flyers started to talk about what would make the most sense, what fabric would translate the best to the shoe. It's a lot easier for us to work that way with a shirt because the shirt's going through a different wearing process, uh, different demands obviously between a sneaker and a shirt. Um, but we had located a couple of great mills, a couple of great farms growing this particular fabric. Um, and from there it was just kind of deciding which one would work best. There's some wonderful details that the shoe captures that um, Gitman vintage wearers will recognize as being um, an element of our shirt. We kept the shoe very, very simple, very clean, and we added some details like the cross stitch on the heel tab. We added the uh, signature green embroidered eyelet, which is a key detail taken from the Gitman shirt. Each shoe is unique where you might get a little rub off on the stamp or you might get the hard print on the stamp. We clean up the shoes and we send them out right from Boston. Recreating a shoe from the 1960s is fairly easy when you do it one-to-one. -one. But where the PF Flyers brand continues to excel is by continuously updating. And our modern updates are in the comfort, in the last, in the design aesthetic, uniquely Gitman, uniquely PF.